Hi and welcome to Tikal Network's Crystal Call Center. Today we're going to go through how to set up and modify a queue in our call center. So we'll go to Manager, click on Queues Manager. You can see that I already have two queues, number 2000 and 2001. So now we're just going to add a new queue. We'll call it Demo Queue and we'll number it 2002. On this side you can see all the available agents I have in my call center. On the selected static agents I can see all the agents that are already associated with this queue, meaning they will receive calls entering this queue. So for example I want demo 1 and demo 3 to be associated with this queue. Click in their name, we'll add them to this queue. Clicking on the name after we've added them, we'll remove them. I'm going to go and scroll down to the queue properties. Here we can set up all the queue properties. So we can set up a CAD name prefix which will show before the number on the caller ID screen in the phone. So for example, let's make it SU so the agent will know that this call came from the support queue because it can be also associated to the customer service queue and the financing queues. So we basically have an agent uh, maintaining few skills. We'll set the outbound caller ID to our customer support number, which is 073-220-9191. So this is what our called our customers will see on their screen once we call them out. We'll set the queue language to English. Uh, we don't really want to play a recording when uh, someone enters the queues. So this this could be really useful when, uh, for example, you have an emergency or uh, something went wrong. So you can you could set up a recording that will say announcement that will say, uh, "Sorry for the long waiting times. We're having uh, minor difficulties. We're handling the issues." We could also announce the caller position to the caller. Uh, I'll set it up so every one minute it will announce the caller position. What the caller will hear is your position is number one, number two, number three, whichever position is located in. We could also set up an IVR breakout menu. Uh, we're not going to do it now. If you want to see how we do it, you could send me an email to idans at tikalnetworks.com. Uh, we do want to announce the average holding time so our customers can know how long they have to wait before they, they will get answered. And now I'm going to go to the music on hold class. We'll set it to default. Uh, we could also have the uh, normal ringing tone instead of music on hold. Uh, I've selected list recent as the strategy, but I could also select ring all, which will ring all agents in this queue simultaneously. Okay. I could select random or the agent with the fewest calls, penalty ring all, which will let me give way to each agent. So if I want one agent to receive more calls than others, I could set it with penalty ring all. So we'll just leave it for two least recent now. We'll set up the wrap up time to 15 minutes, which means that after a call has been ended, this agent will not receive another call until 15 minutes have passed. So he could doing he could be doing some paperwork. Last spoken agent priority means that if, for example, <clears throat> I'm calling the customer service um, and they're dealing with an issue for me, and then after let's say one hour I call again. I will be automatically redirected to the agent that was dealing with me the last time I called. So this could save us a lot of time explaining the issues again to a new agent. We could also set a failover destination with a few triggers. We could have max waiting time. I'll set it now for five minutes. Max callers, max agent dial. Do we want uh, customers to be joining this queue when there are no agents? And uh, for now, we'll set it to no. Leave when empty. We want to move him to the failover destination if no agent has been logged in. So now I can select the failover destination. I'll select an extension, demo 10. So which means now that 
After five minutes of waiting, the caller will automatically be redirected to the 1010 extension or if there are no agents logged in, the caller will also be automatically redirected. After setting up everything, I'll click on Submit. And you can see Q2002 has been inserted. You can see it here. And now basically if I want to add agents, I can just add. If I want to remove, I'll just click on their name. I can modify the settings. And this is basically how we set up a queue. Very simple, shouldn't take more than one minute to set up each queue. Uh, you can change settings on the fly without worrying. Everything is quick and simple. So thank you again for watching and uh, please let me know if you have any questions. My email is idans at tikalnetworks.com. Thank you.